You want me to print this? I do. If this gets printed, Tracy. I know. But for lack of a less melodramatic phrase, if I can't have ELQ, then nobody can. Are you serious? I don't expect you to understand. My degenerate nephew and his treacherous son stole the company out from under me and uh, put themselves in charge. But not for long. Take it easy, will you? I didn't touch her. Dad, I'm fine. No, you will be. I'll make sure of that. I got here as soon as I could. What happened? Because she just seen us get arrested. For what? I'm trying to kill Connie Falconeri. Okay, look, it's been a rough day, as you can see. Yeah, somebody tried to redecorate. Yeah, you're gonna have to give me a better explanation. It's about very why you want simple. this print. AJ and Michael cannot run the company if there's no company left to run. So let me get this straight. You decided to show up your company's bottom line with the cash infusion from the mob. EOQ was going through a rough patch. Hmm. Yes. And Gino Salito's money would just patch that all up. I managed to access some of my late husband's funds, which I put into ELQ without doing an appropriate background check. Fancy words, but what this really boils down to is that this high and mighty quarter main was slumming it. And everyone thought that ELQ was so pure, right? And it's nothing but a front. ELQ is not a front. It was my father's life's work. He could have rested on his inheritance. He could have lived off of his trust fund, but no. Instead, he chose to build a dynamic company with interests all over the world. Well, it's so freaking fantastic, Tracy. Why are you trying to destroy it despite your nephew? Here's what happened. I walked into Connie's office. The place was a mess. She had a baseball bat in her hand. She was threatening to kill Connie. Oh, dear God. Okay, but I talked her down, took the baseball bat from her hands. Yeah, you defended the... her. You made all the same stupid excuses. Oh, poor, poor Connie. She lost her son. I was trying to talk you down because I didn't want you to make a stupid mistake. You were strangling Connie. And I would have finished the job. I don't know why you pulled me away. Because he was trying to save your butt. That's why. And Connie's. If he didn't show up, you could be looking at a murder charge. I want to start planning. So you want to use my paper to send your company to Kingdom Come? I got a right to ask you this. Isn't there some other way you can get back at your nephew and his son that doesn't take the company down with him? Actually, I was hoping that would be possible, but AJ outmaneuvered me. He didn't do it by himself. Left to his own devices, he's completely ineffectual. He had help, mostly from his son, Michael. People do things for Michael that they wouldn't do for AJ. You know, I met AJ the other night. To tell you the truth, I didn't think he's such a bad guy. <laughs> and where did this meeting take place? In a bar, perhaps? Tell me he was drinking. No, he was white knuckling the booze, for sure. Guy's got a problem, no question. Well, alcoholism is just a symptom. He is arrogant, entitled, and completely incompetent. But he seems to really love his son, and in my book, that means something. AJ told me that he never had a relationship with his son until now, and he wanted to work with him. More importantly, he wanted to get to know him, form a bond, which is more than I can have with my son. I heard about Trey. I'm sorry you lost your son. I imagine you and Christina are in a lot of pain. Yeah, I'm in pain, all right. Christina's got a screw loose. Just before you got here, she came in here. She tried to kill me. Why does she get to walk around free and act like nothing happened? Why does she get to live her life alive and well when... when Trey's dead? I'm sorry, honey. Why are you apologizing, Mom? You didn't do anything wrong. Dad's the one who paid for Connie's Dad. bail. Dad? It's the only way I can get Connie to agree to take Trey off life support. No, but it's more than that, Dad. <laughs> you felt sorry for her. Yeah. After all the lies she's told, after all the, all the people that she's hurt, after she abandoned Trey as a baby and left him to die in a drawer, you feel sorry for this woman. Kate's a sick woman. I don't know what you want me to there say. There is no Kate, yeah. Dad. It's just Connie. And she's horrible, and you refuse to stop her, so I had to do it no, myself. No, no, you don't get to do that. No matter how terrible you feel or how wronged you think you are, you don't get to take the law into your own hands. But Dad does it all the time. Well, forget what I do. 
You don't get to grab a baseball bat and try to hurt somebody. You don't do that. Hurting Connie isn't going to bring Trey back. He's gone, and you're going to have to accept that. That's not fair. <laughs> Connie's the one who deserves to die, not, not Trey. All right, sweetie. Okay. All right? Listen to me. You listening? Don't say another word, okay? And now I'm talking as your attorney and not your mother. Watch her. Okay, you know what? I think I can make this go away. I mean, she's obviously distraught. Right? Just watch your boyfriend die, no? Okay, so there was no rational intent to harm. There was no rational thinking, period. That's exactly what I told Dante. The problem we're having here is that Connie insists on pressing charges. Christina came at me with the baseball bat, and as you can see, she wasn't kidding around. Did she give you a reason for her rampage? Yeah, she, she blames me for the accident that killed Trey. And she's not too far from the truth. So she was justified. I didn't know my own kid. I didn't want to know him because of where he came from. His father, Joe Scully, raped me. And I was pregnant, and I sure as hell didn't want a baby, so I left it in a dresser drawer, and I took off. And all these years later, when I caught up to him, I treated him like crap, and I told him that I wish he'd been aborted. What do you care, anyway? You're just here to screw your own nephew. You're wrong. I do care. I remember you, Mr. Commissioner's not back, and we have to book your daughter. I'll come with you. I'm sorry you have to stay here. It's okay. It's all right, honey. All right, I'll be right here when you come back. Do something. You're the lawyer. Can't you file some kind of motion? At least get a release in our custody. I'd help if the charges were withdrawn before anything moves forward. So you need to speak to Connie. I, I tried, and she's not having it. She's calling the cops. The okay. whole thing, present charges. I'm saying try again, because our daughter's going to end up in prison because you're dating a nutcase. Is Listen, that what you want? I thought maybe once you get in front of the judge, you can explain to the this judge her situation. This is not like a stoplight. She could be charged with assault. She could be charged with murder. She could end up in prison. I don't think it's going to get to that. No, it's not, because you're going to go talk to Connie right now, you're going to try to get her to see reason. <laughs> Is it that's even possible? Actually, I have my own dealings with Joe Scully. Well, lucky you. Funny thing is, I did think I was lucky at first. I had found myself the odd woman out in a love triangle, and it did something to me. It undermined my confidence. It made me feel old and invisible and more alone than I'd ever been in my life. And then along came Joe. And yes, I know everything that he did now, but then I had no idea. He was very good at hiding his dark side. Yeah, he was. His own son spent most of his life thinking he was a decent guy. Well, I know one thing for sure is that he loved Trey very much, no matter how much he used him. My boy. My Trey. some lousy parents. That kid never had a chance. So what's at stake? If Connie doesn't drop the charges, last thing I want is for Christina to, you know, have a record. I don't want her to go to prison. That would kill me. You know that. Yeah, I do know that. So do something. Okay, you want me to bribe, bribe the judge? I'll call him some favor. I'll even fly her out of the country. That's would you... not what I want you to do, okay. and you know that. Well, I've told you now a thousand times, I can't get through to Connie. Well, you did before. What? W about Trey. You changed your mind. Okay, look, because of what happened with Trey, yes, uh, we connect a little bit, but it's very, very complicated right how, now. How complicated? <sighs> Connie thinks that I want her gone, and that I want Kate to come back, and I had to admit that that's true. Okay, well, I, I usually value the truth, but when you're dealing with Cuckoo, 
Lie to her. At this point, I have no more pull with Connie, so we're gonna have to figure out another way to get Christina out of here. You're the best lawyer in the history of lawyers, so maybe uh, you can... That's not gonna matter, because a police witness happened to see her try to kill Connie. What are you doing? It's Michael. Hold on. Okay, enough of that. Just got a little weepy for a minute. All this talk about Joe Jr. and my kid. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring up any bad feelings. You didn't. So why don't we just skip this off this and get back to business? What do you say? So I think I got the picture. You hate AJ like poison. And the last thing you want is for him to take over your business. My father hated weakness and lack of resolve. AJ Quartermain is the embodiment of both those failings. He cannot have my company. This is the way to stop him. But doesn't the SEC cut both ways? If I print this, it'll take down AJ and ELQ, but it'll bring you down as well. Is that what you want? Yes, I am fully aware that I could lose by standing my stock portfolio and perhaps even my freedom when the SEC finds out that I used Salido money to keep ELQ in the black. I'm fine with it. You are. ELQ is all I have. Okay, now you lost me. It was my fear that those documents would see the light of day that gave Anthony Zakara his leverage over me and forced me into the worst marriage of my life. You get married a lot? <laughs> I have terrible taste in men. Join the club. I picked one. Or he picked me. Not to say he didn't lie, steal, and cheat, but he was never boring. We were kindred spirits. He died? No, he chose someone else. What? Who is this lowlife rat? <laughs> Thanks. Lucas Lorenzo Spencer. And he is a rat. He is a lowlife. But he's also a man of extraordinary character. He just wanted Anna Devane more than he wanted me. Well, you know what I say, Tracy? It's a mistake letting anyone into your heart. Especially when you look into their eyes. And you see their wish in you or someone else. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, we're gonna get you a ring and then we'll take you home. The court's close today. I, I have to stay here. No, you don't. Well, who's the judge? Well, well, ho it. Hold on. I, it, there isn't any way to get her arraignment moved to night court? Well, she's been booked with assault and attempted murder, so there is no night court judge this year. I'm sorry. Okay. My daughter's gonna have her own cell, okay? And it's gonna be right by the guard desk. Right. Anything happens to upset her, you let me know. You clear on that? Very clear. So you better find a way to get back into Connie's good graces, or our daughter's going to be the one paying the price. Why would your personal life, pathetic though it may be, make you want to blow up your father's company and you along with it? I told you. ELQ is all I have. Had. And granted, it can get very lonely with corporate returns, the only thing to keep you warm at night, but it's better than nothing. And then AJ rises from the dead to take it all away? No. Okay, here's a suggestion. Instead of burning ELQ to the ground, why don't you steal it back? Because there won't be anything left to steal. The only thing AJ is good at is drinking himself stupid. Left in his hands, ELQ will suffer a slow and painful death from misappropriated funds, bad investments, the inevitable decline of a once great company. I would rather put it out of its misery myself. You play for keeps, Tracy. I'll give you that. The only one who is going to destroy this company is going to be me. It is mine to the end. Okay. Are you sure about this? No. But you go and print it. Okay. Tomorrow, this will hit the stands and ELQ will come tumbling down. City editor, and I want you to handle it personally, so get off your ass and hightail it to my office pronto. No, I cannot email it to you. You have to come up here. Hold on, please. Can I help you? Yeah, 
Would it be possible for us to have a discussion about the situation with Christina? Well, Sonny, there's nothing to discuss. She came at me with the baseball bat, tried to kill me, and of story.